Matt, Hi. what's plan of the day? Plan of the day. Fix Mark's boat. Fix Mark's boat <laughs> again. <laughs> Go down river. See if we can find a spot for a new camp since it's turning about a mile and a half trip. And then potentially, I don't know, would we want to move camp if we find it in the morning or we're going to want to do it later? If we move camp? Yeah. I'm perfectly happy moving camp tonight. I'm tired of falling on these rocks. Um, and then continue sampling down. I think we're on me and Mark. I just did Ben 4. Mark's on Ben 3. Then we got a couple other samples down until we get to that old two and a half inch sample that had good gold. We'll see if we can get back on whatever that was. It'd be nice if we find gold at some point. I would like to see some of those flakes that I saw in that original <laughs> sample hole. Yeah, yeah. I've, not, I've seen one flake maybe that size. Yeah, we're all uh, we're all pretty confident that Matt lied to us and there's no gold here. Right, Mark? I decided to come out here for no gold at all. That sounds about right. There's no reception on the phone out here. You just wanted to get away from the wife. Well, Matt pulled us down to uh, these rapids here. Kind of ran into everything along the way. And I lost the foot valve. So instead of leaving the Dalkey down here where this fast water is down there, um, decided to just go ahead and load her up. I'm going to troll up and down the river see if i can't find the foot valve there but <sighs> what a rookie mistake such a rookie mistake <laughs> whenever you're moving your dredge every time just take it apart it doesn't take long to get prime back again i was being lazy and just going too fast so nick what's happened since plan of the day i quit nick quit never, never dredging again never dredging again all the, uh, the we have a new we have a new campsite so we moved down we were having to commute almost a mile and a half up river and it was just going to get further and further so we just decided to break camp and move down river a mile and a half right to where the dredge is where we left off at even though i got to drop down further for the next sample I guess we'll find Willie. but now we bushwhack camp in and i'm going to get out and at least try and get two samples today we'll see we'll see if that happens or not we had to bushwhack the whole thing in i think mark brought a d6 with a laser level in to get his tent site set up bobby and bobby and tom finally made it so bobby's bobby's out here this is my dredge bobby's out here somewhere and then Tom's down river and Willie's somewhere in the middle right now, but I gotta go drop back a thousand feet, so. Time to pop lock and drop back. Uh, Any comments from the peanut gallery? Go find Willie and take him back upstream. Yeah, we left all of Willie's stuff up river because he was dredging. It just he doesn't have a way to get up there anyways. Uh so Nick's gotta go eventually go pick his shit up and bring it back with Willie. So Nobody wants to touch Willie's stuff because I'm sure he'll blame somebody for something missing that he can't find that he probably misplaced. Yeah, I'm not touching his toilet bowl. Yeah, nor are we touching his toilet bowl lid for whatever reason he has that. Back at the original sample hole from two years ago that partially spurred some of this whole trip two years later. Pretty much back where I did that sample with the two and a half inch in the video i think i called little dredge big river all of our other samples have not turned up much of anything for over a mile and a half up river so something's going on don't know what it is we'll see what we get here but it's been i've been getting like five to ten colors in about an hour of running so that's about like the background gold for this area of river i'm guessing five to ten colors in an hour which is just not what we're looking for where i did that original sample here we picked back up on something nick has to go back up he was trying to set up over there apparently he lost his foot valve that's kind of important to run a dread so he's gonna have to hopefully find it it should have sank wherever he was i don't think it would make it far down river he he hit a rock real hard earlier and broke a bungee and stuff and i think he thinks that's where it probably happened mark's getting ready to run right up ahead of me here I ran out of gas. I have about 30 minutes on the nozzle right now, so I think I'm gonna put back, filled it up already. We'll get back in. Since Mark's firing back up, it's about 5.30. Let's get back to it.
Bob's leaving us today. And instead of dredging, I'm over here chauffeuring him around. Hey, can you just go ahead and uh, fly over top of the dredge site and I'll parachute out? Uh, I only have one chute and I wear it. You don't get it. <laughs> We're going to get him going and then I'm going to find the river again. Matt said it was going to take me at least an hour and a half to get upstream. I did it in 25 minutes. I feel the need, the need for speed. Ow! Eight horsepower on the 15 foot bris. Good idea. But now we're trying to do a bush fix for the foot valve. The problem is Matt has a three inch, but I need a two and a half. And the two and a half fits inside of the three. If we just put it like this, it's going to suck air because it's not tight. So I'm hoping a little 550 cord and duct tape will tighten this up enough that it'll be usable again. Just got it wrapped around the threads there. Right, let's see. Right. Yeah, a little duct tape. 550 cord. All right. Then we don't have a hose clamp right now, so went ahead and took a industrial zip tie and some pliers to tighten it up <laughs> see we'll see if it works we are all set up there's tom's boys tom's dredge matt decided that uh this blue dredge up here was finding uh, some good color some good sized flakes there one had some character with it too so i mean a little chunky piece so matt said everybody move up right behind this guy and snipe all his gold because matt's Matt's a jerk like that. Wow, what a jerk. And here we are not contesting it, so. <laughs> I don't know if Tom's gonna be happy when he comes up. He sees all of us setting up right on top of him. The material's not looking all that great either, though. A bunch of seaweed, some bedrock. There's, yeah, right in front of my anchor, there it is. There's some cobbles, I'm gonna start eating through this. Let's go ahead and finish getting set up here. Still gotta get the hose clamp on the, uh, foot valve there. But hopefully it works. It might just blow up the first time I pull the string. So we'll find out here in a second, I suppose. You got the foot valve on. It's holding water. And then when I go to pump it up a little bit more, see if you notice anything. It's 
Now I get to figure that one out. Oh, that's terrible. Definitely still leaking out of there. I don't know if that's on there enough. And it's still got a little leak. Get it off. Well, and I taped up the belt, so that's definitely not gonna work, is it? Oh, I tied the belt. Oh, what do you think? Gonna work? Here's dredge camp. 2023 on the river searching. Like <laughs> pretty much searching for gold. Especially, especially when you look at those two. <laughs> there's Willie, there's Dale. Mark's walking down to the river. Episode of Cribs, there's Nick's shitty little thing. What'd you say? What? You gotta stop swearing, Matt. Nah. There's Dale's Taj Mahal. There's Willie's Taj Mahal. Willie's got a cool thing. It's a tent cot so it's a cot up off the ground That's with like at least a two three i don't want to go in there i don't want to know what's in there so he's probably got that raccoon back there like caged up in the corner or something yeah there's mark's little camp cook stove he eats fantastic on all these trips steak every night there's his little his miniature taj mahal all set up i'm pretty sure when we bushwhack this out, I think he actually brought in a D6 dozer with a laser level and like cut his building pad all nice. I bet you he's the most comfortable one out here too. I've been freaking real comfortable, so I don't know what you're talking about. Nick's cut himself a couple chair pads in. Keep falling over. I think he kept he kept falling over in this one last night. I see some holes. Nick's little and then mine's back here in the trees in the hammock. This is Dredge Camp Searching for Gold 2023. Yeah, Matt's got his uh, hammock set up around all his friends over there. You know, nobody. Nobody, yeah, pretty much. And we got our little walkway down to the river with all our boats. Ugh. Nice little gravel bar for staging all of our crap. We're miles from any of the ramps. Nice big river, gorgeous out. Unfortunately, the gold's not been very good but it's prospecting there's mark's canoe with mud motor for running the river there's dale's there's mine love this this boat has been working fantastic uh the motor i need to replace and do it's been worked hard since 2015 and she's just kind of she's given up the ghost uh but the boat boat fantastic been loving this boat uh, and then Nick's. Nick's boat's great. Served us well in Idaho. Serving us well here. And his mud motor, which he downsized to an eight horsepower, uh, has been fantastic. It pushes this through this river amazingly. It can get you up on plane, pushing through an inch of water pretty much on the boat, two inches maybe. Um, I'm planning to get this, this set up for my boat. So that's the plan. There's Dale's dredge right there. He got a little bit of gold. A little bit of gold out in the eddy there. Meanwhile, on the expeditions of Captain Rapid, I am now Captain Uber. I've got to take Willie. He's loading his stuff up right now in the boat. So I got to go take him downstream over there. Uh, we got access to a boat ramp. There's still good people in this world, and, and whoever's at that boat ramp, they're good people. So they're letting Willie pull out because 
uh, you know, those blown up, you don't want to see him get stranded, which, I mean, he's not going to be stranded. I would just have to run him downstream like two miles to the ramp and then run back up and then load up my stuff and then bring him back down, so, or bring my stuff down, so. It, it's a lot extra running, but it's, it's nice to have access right there so we can just pull the, the dredge right off the river. Uh, I just have to motor down his stuff, he's still packing up. And after I'm done with that, I'd really like to dredge, but I have to haul two dredges all the way back up above our previous camp. What's that? Probably another mile upstream. Got to haul two dredges because my boat's the only one now that can make it up and downstream easily. It's going to be a long day of me being Captain Uber. At least Dale's getting at it. <laughs> well, he's not getting at it. He's got a clog. <laughs> you got jammed. You just got jammed. All right, here I am taking Tom's dredge up. Man, is it sluggish. So I took a little break here at camp. That way I could uh, get my fishing pole for the float back down, see if I can't catch some dinner. But we're gonna see how this thing goes upstream here. We have mud skipper Gav. Yep, Matt's a happy camper. He just stole a motor from Tom up there. Jerk. Making waves in a no wake zone. Why are you slowing down? I'm a pirate. I'm a pirate. The, ul off. the ultimate beer run. Just a couple buddies out on a beer run. All right, time to go fishing. I'm not here to lose or take my final bow. I'm here to steal the golden treasure. I'll be standing on that hill when the others all fall down. So start your run before I get you. Came here, here because Matt's useless. I got mine ready now. Okay. What you doing, Mark? Getting ready to fix this canoe. Cutting apart Dale's boat to fix his boat. Hey, why not? I'm assuming back here. A little bit of a cut. Did you he they scraped that out probably, right? No, that's how it looked. When oh, I took so you had another good hit then. Well, it's flexing, and when it flexes, it mm. cracks. That bucket that fix that we did on it the last time is obviously not the same Correct. material. It's different material, though. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty deep gash deep there. Riddle. Yeah. What, you don't like your boat being filled with water? Not for this two and a half mile float we gotta go down. <laughs> We're gonna try to plastic weld this up. You gotta, well. This is the, the third hole, I think, in his skeg during this trip that we've tried to patch. But you see, you put a, he can put a screwdriver in there. He can take it on water. So we're gonna we tried using melted five gallon bucket into it, but it uh, must not be the same material, and it flexed and cracked out as it kept impacting other things. So we're gonna try using some of Dale's boat. I think we cut out the back. There was a wall here, but with in front of this foam that wasn't doing much. I just ran out. 
Uh, yeah, I got it somewhere. Good old butane Dremel torch. Fantastic piece of kit to always have with you if you can afford the weight. Bush fixes when you're miles, two and a half, three miles up from the next ramp. I'm gonna try to press it together first. Yeah. And then we'll add another piece on top of it. No, 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 no. That's how you that do screwdriver it. in the crack. You already did. That's what they recommended you do. I already did that, Dale. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, you old married couple. I, he I heated up the screwdriver and put it in the crack and got it all nice and gooey. And now we're gonna go ahead and press it together and see if it'll close up a little bit. And then I'll try to fold it over and then I'll add some more material. Is that okay, Professor? No. It's not yeah. like somebody here doesn't run a shipyard. Yeah, but you don't you use you don't run a canoe yard. <laughs> it's going, it's going, it's going. I need it back here. There you go. See, I still thought how you were melting it and dripping it on. I think that changes the character of the, uh, the rubber. Or the plastic or whatever you want to call it. Cause that's just that kinda, ain't doing shit now there's where it all is i Give feel me. like i feel like even if it changes the character you're better off for the trip down if it's impregnated into there yeah i'm i'm with them Let that cool down and put another layer on it. Yeah. So I guess I'll use Mark as the guinea pig on the video here, but I feel like this is one of those things you hear everybody talk about the inflatable boats having a lifespan of how long they'll last. You're gonna you're gonna patch holes in them, but they're generally gonna last you 10, 15 years. I generally don't hear anybody talk about the lifespans of plastic canoes or aluminum john boats and yet they definitely have a lifespan um and while you may get holes in the inflatable boat they are usually quick and easy to patch and once you start knocking holes in plastic or aluminum your ability to repair out in the field is not as good Okay, Nick, this is just going to be your audio. So splice this in. I don't want my face on it. So while most of the samples did generally turn up a little bit, we were generally getting the, the background amount of gold in the river seems to be five to ten colors in a top mat clean out for an hour of running with a four inch dredge. Generally, we did not get on the gold we wanted to. It was a good trip. I've been loaded for about two hours now, still waiting on Matt over there. It's taking forever. Battle wagon there at the cannon hanging off the front. Prepare to fire! Boom! Yeah, you sunk my battleship. You sunk my battleship. <laughs> <laughs> to good people none of us were ever really born equal only one life there ain't no sequel some people live others stay fearful this world ain't never been peaceful you got good always button heads against evil the good try to be fair but the bad lethal they gonna fight dirty every single one deceitful stand up I 
wanna see your face Get your chin up like you belong in this place We gon' train like you've never trained before You're going up against something that you can't ignore This ain't a game, this your life that we're playing with There ain't no reset button or an off switch You gotta face your fears, you gotta scratch the itch You gotta break through the walls and get after it Only time will tell who's gonna make it I promise you I'ma be the one who's gonna take it I fight, I provide, leaving blood on the pavement If you're up against me, then you better be praying Cause I'll keep punching till my knuckles start breaking I'll keep going through the blood that I'm tasting I won't stop till they've all seen greatness The battle for my world just started I've been waiting A lot of people think that I come off aggressive, but I'm just passionate. Why aren't you? Ain't nobody caring. Say hi to the moo cows in the river. Watch it, Nick. I'm beached. I'm beached. Good morning, ladies. How y'all doing today? Matt, why are you stopping? You're going to the beach? Oh, you are beached. All right. Stop turning around. Matt doesn't know how to drive a boat. Probably ran over a cow. Put yourself on the line, make moves Otherwise you'll be a sheep with the lions watching you Only time will tell who's gonna make it I promise you I'ma be the one who's gonna take it I fight, I provide, leaving blood on the pavement If you're up against me, then you better be praying Cause I'll keep punching till my knuckles start breaking I'll keep going through the blood that I'm tasting I won't stop till they've all seen greatness The battle for my world just started, I've been waiting Today is the day, don't waste any time, know it's time to make a change Up in your mind, rearrange, start thinking you're the hero headed out on your way There's gonna be good times and bad times, that's alright, just stay on the line Cause in life we all got a different mission, but the good guy always wins, that's a given if you stay committed, you stay driven You'll be looking down the barrel of completing your mission Ignition, light the flame, get the fire in your